everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy V, the Four Job Fiesta for Tiny Toes Rat Rescue. Well, it's time for us to finish off the pyramid of uh, more in this episode, so no more more pyramid after this video. <laughs> so, um, let's just uh, head on up to the top. There's not too many more uh, rooms to go, but there still be uh, some traps that we gotta be uh, on the lookout for, so... Hit each of these buttons to stop the uh, sand flow, and that'll allow us to get past And I thought I was getting lucky there. I was like, whoa, no more man of encounters, but well, now they're coming back in full force, so oh well. But okay. So I put the aim on uh, because um, I thought, I read that uh, having uh, aim on would uh, prevent the chicken knife from doing that flea, but it really doesn't, so. Wrong information out there on the internet. So we have this like little puzzle here where these uh, the floor moves. We want to fall down on purpose so we can get uh, back here. Now the door on the right we could have entered, but as you can see, there's uh, no treasure back there. But we want to get uh, the treasure there in the middle. We couldn't enter that door in the middle there. The door on the left would be opening too, but uh, we uh, like I said, we want to get the uh, Door, the treasure in the middle so in order to get that one you have to fall down from the floor above so I just did that so you know I save some time walking so avoid some of those random encounters but we got another guy hammer there so this goes to show like how good that guy hammer that we got back when we stole it off of uh, Titan is yeah we're not getting one uh, from a treasure chest until this late into the game an entire uh, world later so now the thief's sprinting ability does help, uh, but uh, I'm not going to use it to show that you don't really need the uh, the sprint ability to, you know, navigate this little trap. So I'm going to head down the left here first, get some treasure, and uh, the door we want to get to is the one in the middle there. But unfortunately, we can't reach it from this left side. See that uh, the little spots that are like grayish? Yeah, those are like little slides. So. Uh, you'll just slide back down, so we're gonna have to go up the other side of the room here. So once again, just watch for the trap, so... Another random encounter. And, uh, if you're on a safe tile, you don't have to worry, because it'll stay under your feet, so... That's why it's a safe tile! And then two last treasure chests. One of them has a monster in it, and all these monster attacks, they were the, the group of the four, uh, the damned enemies, those clown enemies. Just want to go up there slow so I don't actually step on the slide. And we finally get the first of the four tablets. And after each uh, tablet that we get, usually they'll get like a little bit of a cutscene and it'll kind of unlock something new, so... Holy moly, what's going on? We are being risen to the outside of the pyramid. Yes, yeah, so this is just, uh, if it would have went, uh, up the stairs next to uh, where the entrance was, we would end up here. But apparently, the tablets are something about the Dragon King Bahamut. And see that little uh, piece of land there? That that's where the airship was. Well, it's actually like Bahamut, the King of Dragons. The peninsula—it's sinking. Mm -hmm. It was kind of shaped like a dragon, if you look at it, like the Mesidia Peninsula in uh, Final Fantasy IV. Uh, uh, the great whale comes out of like the dragon's mouth. So there's Bahamut, the great dragon, the dragon king. Mm -hmm. He's an optional boss that we can fight, but we'll fight him because, you know, like I said, 100%ing everything, so. I will await thee at the summit of the North Mountain. And yep, so we're gonna have to climb that dungeon again. But luckily, uh, the monsters don't get any tougher, so. We just have a tough boss at the top, so. And now we have an airship to fly around. That airship was on that peninsula. Well, now it just floats off. And we can pick it up. Woohoo! So, goodbye, Earth Pyramid. We don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> Alright. Now, before we head into this little forest, we're going to uh, heal up and make a save. Because we have kind of a tough boss here uh, coming up. And now you got some more false information uh, online. 
uh, this boss changes uh, her weakness. And uh, online was saying that you can use the scan ability from the blue mage to basically tell you what uh, the enemy's level, hit point, status, and weaknesses are. But I could never get this uh, the scan to work. Uh, but what did work is uh, the ranger class, the elemental bows. So I could uh, use an elemental bow, and if it did a lot of damage, then I knew, okay, uh, that's the weakness that she's on. And then I could break a rod, so... Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of rods, so, um, but it's okay, so, it worked out, uh, a-okay in the end, so, it did take me, um, this is actually my third attempt, so, yeah, it was uh, a little tough, uh, doing this fight, so, mainly because, like I said, uh, the lady keeps, uh, changing her weaknesses, and she can also hit pretty hard, so, with a lot of different spells, and, I wasn't getting the weaknesses that I needed, so, or if I got a weakness, and I was about to break a rod, she would change her weakness, so, you'll see, it was kind of an annoying fight, but, alright, what's going on, listen, the wind drake, mm -mm. could it be the wind drake from Castle Tycoon, remember, there's not too many wind drakes in here, there's, Gallop's Wind Drake, and then that one from Castle Tycoon. It must be, because look, it's Lena! Alright, we finally get Lena back in our party. Well, not yet. But, she's back. Lena, are you okay? Come on, wake up, say something. But at least we know she's not in the uh, interdimensional rift. This body is mine. Lena, what the? Be sealed beneath the dimensions for a millennia. Go forth, Mal Malcina. Malucina. I don't know how to pronounce it. X death. But doesn't matter. She's bad. Waha! All that was once sealed in the rift is now mine to command. So yeah. So all those evil monsters that were sealed in there. Yep. Now they're working for X death, and he'll be sending them uh, after us. So, waha! Face destruction at your friend's hands. Yeah, we'll be fighting uh, bosses. All these uh, elemental dungeons we'll be going to will have uh, bosses, which are basically minions that x -Death is sending forth from the interdimensional rift after us. So, And uh, he's going to take care of a total infestation. So I guess now he's getting a little bit more control over the, the void. Because the first time, the only thing he stuck up was uh, Castle Tycoon. But that was right at the entrance to the void. Remember, all the people in Castle Tycoon were saying, you know, hey, you know, uh, the sky looks weird above us, you know. The old rumor that uh, a thousand years ago the sky above Tycoon was uh, rent asunder. So, but now I guess he's getting better control. He can, you know, pick things up. So, soon, very soon, the power of the void will completely be mine. And all the world will kneel before him. Oh, no. But he's not going to have anyone to, like, kind of kneel and worship him if he just keeps sucking up all the towns. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like what Emperor Jestel says in uh, Final Fantasy VI when Kefka goes on his reign of destruction. Sacrificing himself, the hero you attacked, and the demons expelled from Lena's body. We'll find out, though, the hero is not... hasn't really sacrificed his life yet. At least not yet. So... That's another side quest that we can do. A lot of side quests in this thing. Once we get the airship, you can actually go right to the end of the game and try to, uh, and try to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, take on x Death. You don't have to get all the 12 ne legendary weapons, but, you know, it helps you get levels, get, uh, gain job abilities, so why not? So yeah, if you break basically like four rods, uh, and then do a few more attacks, you'll be able to take out this boss. But, uh, like I said, that makes it hard is she changes her weaknesses all the time. She always enters, though, the, uh, fight weak against fire, so you're always gonna be good to, uh, break the fire rod first. So. Yeah, chicken knife, when that hits, wow, that's good. Yes, uh, she has, uh, four different forms. Uh, the first form, she's weak against fire. Uh, another form, she's weak against ice. Another form, she's weak against lightning, and uh, another form, uh, she has zero physical defense. Uh, any magic will heal her, 
uh, but she has uh, zero physical defense, so that's the form that you want to hit, uh, whatchamacallit, her with, like, say, like a chicken knife or something, but unfortunately, uh, our chicken knife kept, uh, was doing a lot of running in this battle, even, uh, even though we had that aim command, so, uh, well, we, were, we were using the aim command, and I took it off because it wasn't working, so. Yeah, that's the big downside of the uh, chicken knife. Uh, you know, you ought, to, you ought to run. It seems like it always wants to run during boss battles when you can really use its damage. So. But, yeah, I read that, you know, if you use like, a special attack, that it's only the fight command that uh, causes that uh, run to happen, but. Guess it's not true because as you can see we're using the aim there and we're saying you can't flee whenever you get that thing that says you know uh, can't escape that's the chicken knife trying to make you run away so one thing you could do with this enemy is uh, you could use uh, the blue magic spell uh, the the blowfish guaranteed a thousand damage obviously not going to do as much with uh, as an elemental attack but or breaking a rod but so it looks like right now, probably weak against, uh, lightning. Because the, or it might be the one with the, uh, zero physical defense, because ice and fire both healed. And she keeps missing with the chicken knife, so. No, I wouldn't be able to find out if it was weak against lightning. But, right when I put, put the lightning bow, she changed her form. So yeah, this is why that boss is so annoying. If she would have just stayed in that regular form, and it would have turned out that the, she was weak against lightning, I could have had Ferris break a lightning rod and basically deal 25% of her max health. But not not really working out. So and her uh, her spells, she can use uh, all the uh, what you call it. Uh, the only thing is. Uh, it's tough to tell, like, uh, what, uh, things she is by based on her spells. Because when she's weak, when she's weak against fire, she'll use both, uh, bolt and ice. Uh, when she's, uh, weak against ice, uh, she'll use bolt and fire three. Uh, and when she's weak against lightning, she'll use ice and fire three. So, uh, she basically will use any spell other than the one that she's, uh, weak against. So you don't know, well, she used fire three there. So she could have be weak against uh, ice, or she could be weak against lightning. You you wouldn't know. It's one. Of, it's you know 50-50 coin shot there. And if you guess wrong, which I have a tendency to do for some reason, um, you'll end up healing her. So I mean, if you want to play risky, you know, if you made that save right outside the forest, you can you know risk. Uh, you can, of course, risk breaking a, a rod and healing her, but we don't have a lot of rods to uh, break. Now, we could buy some more in uh, uh, Karnak, but not really uh, worried about doing that. We have other things to do to take care of enemies, especially now that we've got that like chicken knife. But And we only have one character here who can break rods, Faris, so she's usually better off just... Uh, Using the air knife and the uh, arrow three, and she'll be getting a. Once we get the airship, we're able to get another really good blue magic spell coming up. So, Whoop. so it looks like she's weak against lightning there, because she took a lot of damage from uh, the lightning bow. So now we can break another rod. Look at that, fourth of a health so she has like 20,000 hit points so yeah about a fourth there woohoo and Ferris mastered the blue mage job finally woohoo Lena yeah everyone will master their jobs but everyone's mastering most jobs everyone just pretty much has to master the uh, the archer job Lena sister Krill the castle we were the darkness it we know don't try to speak now, even though we're going to get Lena back in our party, I'm not going to revive her right away because we want to get that one blue magic spell. And uh, as a berserker, uh, we're going to have to confuse the enemy to get the spell. 
and uh, we don't want her being a berserker and knocking the enemy out of uh, the berserk the uh, the confusion status. So this is where it's important that we kept onto that dancing dagger. If we don't have a beast ma the ability to use a beast master, because in order to get this enemy to uh, use the blue magic, uh, it has to be either controlled with the beast master or it has to be uh, confused. We'll say the dancing dagger or the confused spell. Now we can add an interdimensional rift near where Castle Tycoon is. Hurry, it won't be much longer before Exdeath gains the power of the void. But Guido said we had the power to fight and win him and win. We need the twelve legendary weapons. They're in the sealed castle of Kuzo. Come on, let's go. And we were told it's kind of near Tool. So. Now the game's going to try to take us there, but it's another cutscene time here. A lot of plot coming up here. They said none can control the infinite power of the void. Pathetic fools, power of the void. Reveal yourself to me. Go forth and destroy everything. Show how absolute your power really is. Well, yeah, how's ever gonna, gonna, you know, gonna worship you if you like you destroy everything, X Death? And now he's going to uh, unleash the power of anger from Tiny Toe. He is gonna start uh, sucking up a bunch of towns and castles. So this is uh, Walsh, where the water crystal was. So yep, he's having the void eat it. There's uh, Istory. The sheep village. We found Ramu in that uh, forest off to the side there. Uh oh, what are you doing? All the towns are being sucked into the void. X Death, stop! I don't know if we can hear you guys. Oh, there's the. That's gonna be the Moogle village. There's the North Mountain up there. But we can't go there now. Uh, because remember the de the airship can't land in the desert. It can only land on uh, on grass. So we have to find a different way to get there. Uh oh, and this is what gets Tiny Toe really mad. They uh, they uh, X Death absorbs his village. Uh, licks. Ah, uh, Tiny Toe, help! That the people screamed his name when they were absorbed. Mm hmm. All these places they're gonna have to just leave behind that like big black circle. So more like an looks like an octagon. I see. It's awful leaving a tiny place like Tiny Toe's hometown licks. That that's it, it goes too far. Now Tiny Toe has his his moment of anger. He just goes crazy. Let's see if we can see one of those circles again. I think it was an octagon. We're going too fast to see. It's either hexagon or octagon. I don't see if there's side. Looks like there's uh, two sides there uh, on the sides. So that would be an octagon. Eight sides. If it ain't, if it ain't the octagon, it ain't real. That used to be the uh, tagline for UFC. Time to stop. Get a hold of yourself. When it was uh, less regulated, back when it was like in the. Uh, 90s and was just starting out and wasn't you know had all the rules in place that it does now like weight classes and uh, the scoring and the rounding and the judging and stuff. So, all right. So now let's go to Kuzo Castle. So there was the wind shrine. So, uh, ooh, the chocobo forest. So there it is. New tool. There it is. We should have landed on the left. Uh, because now when we step out of here, we're going to have to go all the way around that little lake to, to get to the airship, but... Alright, well, I equipped the Dancing Dagger because I wanted to try something in here. There was a, uh, a new enemy... Well, there's an enemy that we found in here earlier. Uh, and I wanted to see if I can tempt it, because if I could use it, confuse it, it could potentially defeat itself, but... Unfortunately, this enemy, we can't confuse it with the, uh, the Dancing Dagger. Princess Lana, thank goodness you're okay. What was that? What is that book? Shall I read it? That guy basically just uh, will tell you, will uh, reread what you know what Guido told you. So, an island shrine protected by the wind. Perhaps we first the shrine of the island uh, east of Tycoon, or west of Tycoon. The castle suddenly appeared. 
Beyond the river's torrents, torrents of water, a waterfall? Is it true the rift between the dimensions actually opened up above Tycoon? I might have just read one of those things since I went really fast there, but basically that guy, he'll just reread where all the stuff is. Uh, so, and we get like, uh, like the wind shrine, that guy said, he brought some of the uh, healing water. So we can heal up here uh, every time we come in here. So we'll be going through this castle. Uh, you can come through it every time you get a new tablet. We won't be doing it every time because, you know, there's no point in us breaking all the seals or the weapons. That, because, you know, most of these weapons we won't be able to use because of our uh, classes. So we're going to pick out the ones that are kind of, I guess, the most useful uh, for us. So we'll grab the Yoichi's Bow for a Hunter. Uh, it has 101 attack power and uh, gives plus 3 strength, plus 3 agility, and has a 30% chance to uh, land a critical hit. So basically, you know, one third of the time your attacks are going to be a critical hit. So here's the Rune Axe. Uh, it gives plus 10 attack. Uh, it gives 71 attack power, uh, gives plus 3 magic, and at the cost of 5 magic points, it adds plus 10 to your attack. So it basically steals your magic points to hit harder. And then the last thing we're going to get is the uh, Assassin's Dagger, because pretty much every class can use knives. And the assassin Dagger gives uh, 81 attack power, plus 1 agility, and it has a 25% chance of uh, instant death. So those are the main weapons that we're going to get. Most of the other ones we really can't use, so uh, the wand we can probably use. Uh, that kind of just boosts all your elemental spells. Uh, but, you know, we don't really worry too much about elemental spells. So, another cutscene time. Prisoners of Space Between Dimensions. Answer his call, I guess. Warriors led by the light of the crystal seek the ancient tablets. Seek them out and kill them. They must not be allowed to obtain the fabled weapons that destroyed Inu. So, here we got uh, three volunteers coming up. Let us go, sire. Very well, go now, my monsters. Destroy them while I obtain the full power of the void. Mwahaha. Looks like we have uh, seven more monsters in the background, so yeah, we'll fight them as we make our way through the interdimensional rift eventually. But three of them are going to come back, and each of those guys is going to be a boss of one of the elemental dungeons we got. But we won't be going to any of them for a while. We got some other stuff to do. So here's that shield dragon. Now the problem with this guy is, he has uh, an auto reflect, so if you try to cast a, a blue magic spell to targets, he will uh, it'll reflect back. So yeah, see the tempting tango? Isn't really working. Now you might think, well, what does that make, why does that make him hard? Uh, just, you know, hit him with physical attacks or whatever. Well the problem is, you see his, uh, when he gets down below 50% hit points, so basically when he gets under uh, 10,000 hit points, uh, his next turn he'll flee. So basically, you have to get him to basically like 10,000 hit points, and then uh, immediately hit him with uh, an attack that's going to do 10,000 hit points. So the only thing that might work is if you had like the chicken knife, and uh, you got one of those like X fights with the chicken knife. Uh, that might work, but it, uh, it might not. So we'll try it maybe later on. Uh, X fight is the last ability that's unlocked from mastering the uh, Archer class there, but, so yeah, so this guy is going to be pretty, pretty tough to defeat, we may not be able to defeat him, kind of like that guild total in the last world, but still, I just wanted to show him off, but if you can control him, uh, he has a, an ability that takes off, uh, that he can just keep using on himself a spell uh, that's non-targeted, and that'll just finish him off, so. Well, we'll pick up here in our next episode, where we do some more world exploring, thanks to the airship. Have a good day. Bye.